along after me. We always start with run in place. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. One with high knees. If you can't do this, you can just do knee tucks. But run with me if you can. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Heels up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Jumping jacks. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Elbow to knee. Reach out. And 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Feet apart, arms out, arm circles to the front. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 4, 3, 2, backwards. 10, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. Left arm out, cross, scoop and hold. Five, four, three, two, and one. Take that same arm, scoop down, up, behind your head. Gently pull on that elbow. Five, four, three, two, one. Reach around, you're gonna try and touch those fingertips. Holding here, five, four, three, two, Good, take your other arm out, your right arm out, cross, scoop and hold, nice straight elbows. Five, four, three, two, one. Take that same arm down and up, behind the head, give it a gentle pull. Five, four, three, two, one, good. Reach around, try and touch those fingertips. Up to the side, we're going to twist the trunk ten times. Here we go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Put those feet together, arms up over your head, dive forward like you're diving into a pool. Keep the backs of those legs straight, drop your head, give it a shake, nod it yes, shake it no. Really just want to let the body hang. Gonna hold here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, slowly we're just gonna bend the knees, rolling up one vertebrae at a time. Head should be last, looking at the ground. And good. Turn and face the front. Go ahead and give me that left leg out in front. We're just going to flex and point at the ankle, tapping the toes on the ground. Let's go to 20. Here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good. Pick the left leg up. Tap the toes on the ground. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good. Pick that leg up. If you need to hold on to something, use a wall or a couch or a counter. Roll the ankle. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Other way. 1, 2, 3, 4, same leg, put the heel on the ground, bend the back leg, stretch the front arm down, and try and grab onto those toes. You're gonna to feel a stretch in that long straight leg in front. Holding here, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good, standing up tall. Give that leg a hug. If you can hug with both hands, do it. Give yourself a little balance challenge. If this is too hard, hold on to the wall. Good, and last thing, we're gonna turn and shift if you need to still hold on to something. Pick that leg up behind you with that knee still pointing as close to the ground as it can, so not up here. Down to the ground, stretching that quadricep in front. Holding here, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good, let's use that right leg. 
Peel out in front, nice straight leg. Only thing that's moving is that ankle. 20 taps. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good. Pick it up. Roll it up. Other way. One, put that heel on the ground, bend the back leg, reaching forward, same arm as leg, feeling stretch in the back of the leg. Holding here, five, four, three, two, one. Good, pick it up, give it a big hug. Keeping that hip down, yep, drop that hip, hold onto the wall if you need it, or give yourself that balance challenge. Last one, we call it the flamingo, picking that foot up behind you. Holding here, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. Shake it up. All right, let's learn. Hey guys, today we're going to play tic tac toe toss. We're going to be using our trusty socks again. So you'll need like three or four, maybe even five of the white and three or four or five of any other color. You can play with pattern socks versus white socks, um, just so you can differentiate between the two. We're gonna be using an underhand toss technique. Uh, so let's review how to do that now. Let's review how to underhand toss. We are going to take our sock in our dominant hand, the hand that you write with. We are going to swing it forward, swing it back, step and toss. Let's try that one more time. We are going to take the sock in our dominant hand, the hand that we write with. We are going to swing it forward, swing it back, step, and toss. Let's look at it from the back. I'm right-handed, so I'm going to throw with my right hand. That's my dominant hand, so you can follow along with me. We're going to swing our arm forward, back, step, and toss. Try one more time. Swing that arm forward, back, step, and toss. Make sure that when we're stepping, we're stepping with the opposite foot. So if I'm throwing with my right hand, I'm gonna step with which leg? That's right, my left. Let's try one more time together. We go forward, back, step, and toss. Got one more pair, one more time. We go forward, back, step, and toss. Toss can also be done without taking a step. Same rules apply. Arm is down at the side, swings forward, back, and forward and toss. Let's try it again. Arm swings forward, back, and forward and toss. Here's the rules of the game. You're going to alternate throwing using that underhand toss we just practiced trying to get three of your pairs of socks in a row. That can be uh, vertical, that can be horizontal, or that can be on any of the diagonals. And you're just gonna take turns alternating and throwing. This is the game board. It's four towels rolled up vertically, laid on top of each other, two horizontally and two vertically. I don't have a partner today, so I'm gonna demonstrate by myself. But the white sock team would go first, so I would go forward, back, step, and toss, trying to land in one of the sections of my board. Then the other team would go forward, back, step, and toss, trying to get in a different square. Back to the white team, forward, toss, step, and throw. So I've currently made it in the upper X box and in the middle box. Black team's turn. They are gonna try and block in this bottom corner. Forward, back, step, and toss. White team's turn. Here we go. Forward, back, step, and oh no! I landed in a square that was already being used. So I can go ahead and grab that pair of socks and remove it from the game. Black team's turn. Pick up a pair of socks, forward, back, step, and toss. White team's turn, forward, back, 
step and toss. You can use your judgment if a pair of socks rolls off the game board as to if you want to put it back in the square or as if you don't want to count it. Black team's turn, here we go. Forward, back, step, and toss. And now black has three in a row in the upper squares. Let's take a look at the game board. These are the three socks that I got in a row. This means that the black team has won. Other ways to win would be to make a line in this direction or on the diagonal. The game can also be played with more of a drop style technique. So it is possible for you to decide where you want to drop the sock ball from and then get to a position and drop. Get to a position, decide where you want your arm to be and drop. We're still using accuracy, and we're still aiming for a specific spot on the board, equally just as hard. And that's how we play. It's just gonna alternate taking turns, throwing into the game board, which is just two lines vertically and two lines horizontally. You can use um, anything you've got. You could use a pair of leggings, you could roll up t-shirts, you could roll up um, baby blankets. If you've got big poster paper, you could just draw the tic-tac-toe game on uh, a big poster paper and then um, alternate throwing with a family member, trying to see who can get three in a row first and challenge yourself. See how far away from the game board you can play. I obviously don't have a huge space behind me to, to demonstrate in, but you could stand 10, 15 feet away from your game board if you can play in a hallway. Just remember to use that technique when you throw, swing that arm forward, back, step, and toss. And most importantly, have fun.